Trailer and fifth wheel owners commonly complain all the time about a rough ride, and obviously they don't, it's not a pre people rough ride, it's that stuff in the back gets tossed around, especially if you have a rear kitchen. And you know, there's some shocks on the market that supposedly are designed to help that, right? Yeah, but one of the problems is they put these things more than 40 degrees out and they don't work. Right, it's pretty much, they look pretty much horizontal. So what it is, it's, it's like a placebo. You know, you feel good, you got shocks, you think something's happening there, but you know, nothing's happening. You know, they're pretty much ineffective. And so there is a better way to do it. Right. And as the companies come out with a, a product called Joyrider Shocks, it's a Joyrider Shock system, and it takes a whole a unique approach to installing. Shock. Yeah, they simple set of brackets that bolt together. Um, there's a little bit of drilling involved, but it's worth it in the long run. And boy, the, I mean, the ride is, is so much better. The nice thing about it is, is you know, you got to have a little bit of you know mechanical aptitude here. It doesn't require a lot of fancy tools other than a torque wrench, and you know, you don't have to do a lot more than drilling you know eight holes on each side. And really, it's, it's designed to fit without moving anything around or making major mo modifications, so, which is a good thing. Let's do part of it here before we go underneath because yeah. it's it'll make it a whole lot easier. Yeah, no problem. So we're going to put these brackets together here, and. This is a pretty simple procedure. We've got carriage bolts here, so it locks them in place. Okay, you gonna do the fun part? Yeah, you wanna kinda turn it to them. Right, now we have an electric impact. You don't have to have one. Just over the years, Bill and I have become a little more lazy, right? Well, it, and, and when, when we're putting in the self tappers, it, this yeah, it's the heart exactly. of this system. The, right. the impact is right. really makes the job easier. Let's do this one more time. Got the hang of it now, Bill? Yeah, and I got the easy part. Okay, I'm going to turn it to you and it's all yours. Ready? Well, let me get that into there. All right, go for it. Okay, that's it for the pre-assembly. Let's uh, get the wheels off and, and get this system installed. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, Bill, the fun starts. We already did it one side. I guess now we'll do this side, huh? Yeah. Get this. The first thing we want to do is remove the spring plate right on top of the springs here so we can reuse the U bolts for the new plate. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I want to come off of there. Yeah. I think we might have to put a little bit more on this side. A little more here. pressure on yeah. it. A little bit more pressure on the axle, I think. I think we might be all right. So, you want to do that while I start losing Yeah, these? I guess. Let's go ahead and this side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the, this plate that's on here that comes from the factory that's on top of the springs and we'll replace it with the bracket that comes in the kit. Right. I didn't lose that one. No, he didn't. I, well, I have steel fingers, Bill, so. Okay, then you take it with yeah. me. This one here, I'm going to okay. tap out. Let me get this last one. It's not that difficult of a job, it's just that and the positioning is the most difficult being underneath here. Get that guy out of there. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. No problem. Almost. Wait, wait. Almost. Yeah, almost. the fine thread takes forever, doesn't it? I know it, it does. You know, we do this all day. Okay, the washer's still in there. So. It'll come off. Got her. Mm. Okay. Yeah, trying to get that one. Ooh, watch out. All right. Did Plate's gone. How about your How about your head? Is it? Nope. Gone? Didn't didn't even hit. <laughs> okay. Let me let me compress these U bolts just oh, yeah. a little bit. Did you check them to see if they need compressing? Oh, I'm sure they do. They yeah. always do. Yeah, they do. 
Try Roger that B's up. Yeah. <laughs> I did something. Perfect. Oh, sweet. All right, we're there. Okay. And we have spaces here. Okay. Oh, I got this one. Is that one? Yeah. This thing is well engineered, I'll tell you what. It is. Very clever. Alright. Okay. Let me tighten these up a little bit and then we'll we'll torque them. <laughs> torque them at 90 pounds or foot pounds? Yeah, this particular U-bolt torques at 90 foot pounds. So this is somewhat critical. You're gonna want to use a torque wrench on this. Finish it off with that. You can do that. All right. Get it there. Get it there. Tighten the other one a little bit. You're getting too much on that one side. Yeah, that's what I figured. So what we're doing is we're tightening a little bit on both sides at a time. Right we're not going to just point. crank one of them down to where it's tight. You want to kind of pull up equally on all these U-bolts. Okay, check the other two again. Over there. Got it. Perfect. Okay, yeah. let's um, here. Let's put this aside, and let's get this top bracket on. Now, this is where it's, it's important to make sure that we have the uh, right angle for these shots. Yeah, we've already we've already done the other side, so we know so that we, we know want two, two and, and a half, half inches right. back from the uh, center hanger. You want to go make a mark there, two and a half on. Right there. See them well, the problem is here, let, black me, on black. let me just hold it up there real quick. Yeah. Help you with it. Not a lot of big coming. <laughs> That's like butter. So, because there's a piece of plastic underbelly under here covering the frame. We've got to get that away from there. It's actually a pretty thick piece of plastic, so um, we don't want to tighten up against that and have that bracket come loose. Oh, we got to be kind of careful. we got some white lines here. Is there some lines there? We have some lines. Let me see. There sure is in there. We may have to cut this further back. Why don't, and, we, why don't we cut it and we can hold it and yeah, we can always use and we can always use some silicone and put it back in place. What did they do with the cutter? Here it is. That way we don't have any risk. Right. Yeah, there you go. Oh there's uh, something else in the way of that. See what's good now. You gonna be able to hold that? Uh huh. You gotta take precautions and stuff like this. We're good there. Okay, if I can get these vice grips to work. There you go. Got it. It feels pretty good actually. So I'm gonna install a frame bracket here now. If uh, uh, if you had a long 11 30 seconds bit, one of the 12 inch one, this would be perfect. Unfortunately, I broke mine on the other side, and now I'm having to do it with some short bits. It's kind of a pain. So when you do this, you might want to get two 11 30 seconds bits in case you break one. So I'm gonna drill this, Bob. You ready? Okay, good luck. So 
always start out with a small bit. The frame's pretty tough, and uh, if you want to make sure, if you get the, the hole in the center for when we put that self-tapping bolt up there. Well, okay, next the size. Other. Ready? No, not this one. Not no, no, because it's too wobbly. Uh, <laughs> that good. Yeah, nice sharp bit helps, doesn't it? It does. Okay, and last but not least, I've been forced to use a step down uni bit on this. So, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but what I did is we marked the 1132nd part of the step bit here with the black felt pin so I know when I'm getting there. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay, hold on. I need to pull this bracket down. It's it's fighting me, and then I can finish the hole off. All right, we're on the rim now, so. Started. Now you you have to use that uh, impact to make that work. Of right. Course, we don't need to, but it sure makes life a lot easier. Yeah. Makes it way easier. Okay, you got it. Come on, try the other way. last one's the tough one. Yeah, I saved the toughest for last. Okay, you ready to put that shock on? Yep, we're ready. Let me get this socket ready here while you put the bolts okay, in. Bolts going here. Wash it here. Okay, don't forget the spacer. Yeah, spacer too. Here, let me give me the give me the back one here. It'll be easier. Okay, so we're gonna mount the bottom of the shock first. Now these shocks are under pressure, so we have to let loose of the wire here in order for it to fit. Let me get this one That's ready. Fun part, yeah. Get it ready. Okay, let's tighten this bottom one first. Okay. Um, here you go. You want to do that? You want to operate that? Yeah. And the whole okay. this thing here. here. You want me to hold it? Yeah, I got it. Ready? Yeah. Oh, 
perfect. Okay, give me that top bolt. Okay, now we're going to put the top on it. As you can see, it doesn't line up because the, the trailer is jacked so up. Oh, the spacer, spacer, yeah. So uh, this, these are gas shocks, so they are under pressure. I'm going to release the lever here, and very carefully as it goes up, I'm going to guide it into that hole. And then we'll cut this piece later here. Okay, you got the impact? I do. Hold on. What did I do with the wrench? There it is. Okay, don't get grip on it, but we I know it is. You know, I think I can get it from the outside here. Yeah, I think it's easier. Yeah. Punch it. Let me know when you're on there. Yeah, go for it. Got it. Perfect. Okay, let's tighten this one. The wire off of it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably work better too. Okay, um, we got one more bracket and one more shock to yeah, do. One more to do, and then it's going to look just like the other side, and then we're going to hit the road. Okay.